we dynamically generate instrumentation for all of our PL SQL packages. And I've written something similar myself. It's on my GitHub repo. And yeah, it probes all arguments, which is a database view. But this view is so slow, even for a single procedure, is this a bug? If you go get the DDL for the all arguments view, the first thing you realize is in our multi-tenant architecture, you can't get it from the sys schema if you're in one of the pluggable databases. That's because if you've ever seen uh, in user objects, you'll see various object types now known as they're called a metadata link, which simply means we have a single definition up in the root container and that is pushed down to all the pluggables. So the only way to get it is to actually come back as sysdba and then go ahead and get the DDL out of there. And one of the things that happens in a lot of the data dictionary views now is they are views upon views upon views. So if I go look at the definition for all arguments, you'll see it's really just a query from int dollar DBA arguments with some additional checks to make sure you can only see the stuff that you're allowed to see. So if I go get DDL on int dollar DBA arguments, then if we scroll further down, we can see here's the real definition. And you can see it's fairly lengthy with lots of joins and stuff like here. But the key thing is at the top here, which is, the object name and the package name are both wrapped with NVLs and decodes. The reason for that is we have effectively two layers in a hierarchy when it comes to PL SQL. If you have a procedure, then that is the object and the arguments for that and the parameters will simply be stored right there. If you have a procedure inside a package, then the object is the package name, but then we have to dive into that to get the individual procedures inside that package. So there's two different layers here, two different levels that all have to be exposed as one view. Hence, we have sort of these decodes, like if we have a procedure name, then we use it. Otherwise, we go back to the object name. If we have a procedure uh, dollar value, then we use it. Otherwise, we go to the package name. There's sort of this double checking all the time, which means when you query on the object name or package name, you're coming in against predicates that have expressions around them. And we all know that generally, if you start using predicates on expressions, then we don't get the index benefits that we would like to see. I'm going to go look for, for example, the arguments for DBMS lob and the routine called compare inside that routine, inside that package. So here's a typical query that we might run. Go get some various information from all arguments for the package name DBMS lob, object name of compare, and any of the arguments. All, I want all the parameters that go into that particular procedure. What does it give me? 2,833 consistent gets. And this is fundamentally a empty database. There's, I, I use this database for nothing except office hours and the occasional Ask Tom question. So there's maybe a, you know, a dozen procedures in here, a dozen packages. If you're running something like eBusiness Suite, you know, 10, 15,000 PL SQL routines, that number grows up very, very high indeed. If you're writing any kind of, you know, let's call it industry strength application, which has a good solid grounding in PL SQL, that's a good thing, then you'll see this problem. But effectively, all arguments, because we're coming in on predicates on expressions, can be quite slow. Now, if you do a describe on all arguments, we can see that, yes, we've got the owner, the object name, package name, which seem to be the things that we would normally come in on. But another entry that's in here is the object ID. And the object ID doesn't have any expressions or stuff around it. It simply maps into user objects. So one of the options you might want to explore is if you're querying all arg arguments and you only need stuff from all arguments, still join into the DBA objects or all objects or user objects view to get the object ID. So we go in on the name to user objects, then find the object ID and then come on the object ID into all arguments, which is what I've got here. So this is the exact same query. I've said, now I'm going to all objects and all arguments. This time I'm coming in on the object ID first, or sorry, the object name first to get the object ID. And then I can use the object ID to dig into all arguments via that path. And you can see even on this tiny database, I've dropped from 2,800 consistent gets down to 159 consistent gets. So if you've got tools or your own tools or your own routines that are digging into DBA arguments, all arguments, user arguments, and they're running slowly because you have a lot of PIL SQL, which is a great thing, then yeah, look at chucking in a join to user objects, all objects, etc., and you should get a significant performance boost.